Welcome to a Vanguard news video without the bullshit. Let's get started. Due to the very small news last Tuesday, they decided to reveal the anti-trigger units for Brand Gate and Stoikaria 4 DSS-05. Elvid X Striker while on rear guard or guardian circle gets 10k power and shields if your opponent drive or damage checks a trigger. Once per turn while on rear guard, you can pay one soul blast and this unit gets the boost ability and 2k power, then you can remove an over trigger in your drop zone to get a continuous ability that gives all your front row units 5k power while it's in your back row rear guard. Why does this feel like this was supposed to be Keta Sanctuary or Stoikaria's anti-trigger unit, but got swapped to the most over nation instead? Guess they couldn't give Brandgate a 69th way to search out or get back their set orders. Desire Flower Maiden Florence, while on rear guard or guardian circle gets 10k power and shields, if your opponent drive or damage checks a trigger. Once per turn while on rear guard, you can send the top 2 cards of your deck to the drop zone when she attacks, to soul charge 1 card, and get 5k power. She gets 15k power instead, if all cards sent for the cost were not normal units. Then you can remove an over trigger in your drop zone, to add a unit card from your drop zone. Did this card just assume every Stoikaria deck works like Zorga? I'm more convinced that Elvid X Striker's ability was the original draft for Stoikaria's anti-trigger unit. Time to create some tension within the community as the next wave of tournament promo cards were revealed. Diabolus Girls Stephanie, Eclipsed Moonlight, and a plant token will be reprinted with new artworks. They got to market final burst somehow, so Bruce players would have to buy the newer cards. Moving on to the promo cards. For V Premium. Savage Whacker is a Tachi Kaze card that once per turn while on vanguard or rear guard, you can pay one soul blast when it attacks while boosted, to put the top card of your deck to one of your rear guards face down as an equip gauge, then that unit gets 5k power for each equip gauge it has, and while in your hand at the beginning of your ride phase, you can discard this card, if your vanguard is grade 1 or lower, to add up to 1 grade 2 or lower card from the top 5 cards of your deck. Since I've been giving nicknames to a lot of card with similar abilities lately, think I'll call these ride deck conditioning cards as ride searchers. Seems like Tachi Kaze finally got some love in a time that V Premium is beginning to die. Spiral Breaker is an over grappler card that once per turn while on vanguard or rear guard, you can pay one soul blast when it attacks while boosted to stand one of your other rear guards. You stand all of your rear guards in that column, if your opponent's vanguard is grade 3 or higher. And while in your hand at the beginning of your ride phase, you can discard this card, if your vanguard is grade 1 or lower, to add up to 1 grade 2 or lower card from the top 5 cards of your deck. I know it's once per turn, but my premium format no fight no guard senses are tingling. And for standard. Refresh Time Porsche is a lyrical monasteria card when place on rear guard, lets you pay one soul blast, to put all of your cards in your bind zone into your drop zone. Then you bind the top card of your deck and draw a card, if the bound card was a trigger unit. When people said a LSTL needed a better way, to organize her bind zone, they didn't mean to throw all of her stuff and start over. Friendship Fairy while on rear guard, lets you pay one counter blast, and putting her into your soul, if you have a Magnolia Vanguard and your opponent's Vanguard is grade 3 or higher, to ride a grade 4 Magnolia card from your hand. Guess all the Masknolia theory got shut down harder than card fight online, as this is Magnolia's Blaze Maiden Amelia. But this raises a new theory that perhaps all of the grade 4 main deck units could get a Amelia clone. Meanwhile Bruce players have begun a civil war. Team Final Rush vs Team Final Burst. Finally, Ten Renenbu Saiyan is a Dragon Empire set order card when put in the order zone or discarded from hand for the cost of your vanguard's ability, makes you draw a card, if you have a Nirvana vanguard. And while in the order zone, while you have a Nirvana vanguard, when your Vire in a rear guard would be put to the deck or bind zone by your opponent's card ability, add all of that unit's trick star original dress to your hand, and send that Vire in a card and its other original dresses to the drop zone instead. And just like a sibling getting special treatment, because your Asian parents know they make the most money, Borshirod outright gives Vire in a player's a safety net to prevent anyone attempting a counterplay against their main strategy. Like seriously, this card feels like it was made by someone who likes to create original characters that can't be harmed by a very specific item or power. 
And that concludes this Vanguard news video. Be sure to scrub scribe and let me know in the comments if the next via in a support prevents it from being hit retired imprisoned and paralyzed.